Here's an example of the technical front end that's in front of our report cloud. So this is something that a technical person would access to see the schema of the information, to find a specific record, or to create a query. This is also how they could actually see right into the database in case you were writing an application to make calls directly. So this is considered very technical, but you'll see some of the things that you can do. First thing down the left, you'll see all the actual tables uh, that you can get into. And you know, these tables uh, aren't very well documented, but are pretty obvious by their name and their contents when you go and look inside it. But I'll take you through it. Accounts are all the people that have left comments um, in, in the system. Account properties are the things that we found out about those accounts, like their Facebook public profile information. Attachments are all the physical attachments that get attached to the posts that you publish. There's a table for campaign tags to link all the content to specific campaigns, the channels you publish to, and then a table specifically so we could map a single piece of content to the several channels that it was connected to. So it's really just a, think of it as a link table. So you can see the content ID and the channel ID. Community ID will maintain or be the same for the entire database because community ID to us is a specific client. There's all the comments that are made and you can see, um, uh, let's see, if we go over here, we can actually see the con comment that got made and where it got made. In that case, it was a client's Facebook page, what day it got made, the account ID if we want to go back and find information about the person. Contents are big table and that's everything you publish and post through the hub, whether that's through the conversation dashboard, so quick tweets and things, or whether it's uh, full-blown big, big posts. There's a two big data files. One is sentiment, which is the sentiment of every response we capture and its score, and statistics, which is uh, number of likes, number of retweets, number of, every, you know, literally everything we capture specific to a channel. So that's um, really the largest data file you'll find. It shows the network that it was published on, whether it was Facebook or uh, our page, um, the channel it was going to, the piece of content it's in reference to, uh, and and the value. So in this case, this is a comment, and on this date, there was there was two uh, extra comments that were made. Tags uh, is a tag cloud of everything that's been uh, published, and then users are the individual members of uh, that have access into the hub or people that have commented in your community. So if we're also driving your community, we would actually create. Uh, a membership role there. So the difference between users and, and accounts, accounts are people that, that respond via social media networks, users are administrators and members of, of your community. Now once you're inside that, you can actually, um, you can just browse it if you wanted, but there's also more complete tools like uh, SQL. So if I wanted to, for example, search for uh, anybody in accounts where first name, uh, let's see, where Oh, let's say username. Well, let's go full name. Mike, Dave. So, not user friendly at all, but for those people that are familiar with, with uh, SQL, this is a standard statement. So select from this table where this field name is like, and I've basically said, starts with D-A-V, and then the uh, percentage sign is a wild card. So when I say go, this would go and, and retrieve that data for us. So don't think of this as a reporting tool. Think of this as just getting into any level of detail inside it that you want. If I close down underneath, you would see that it actually updated that query. Now we can do interesting things like we could export the data. So if you were trying to create a report, um, we have all kinds of options for exporting the data. So it's completely uh, at your disposal. There are tools to um, mess up the database, insert new columns and things. It doesn't matter. We're going to overwrite this every day and, and create a new database for you. So I think it's pretty much read only. So that's the report cloud and the PHP MyAdmin interface for you to get right into the database. We'll also show you our, our new BI tool, which is it's a dashboard that reaches into these numbers and lets you query them at a, at a deeper level.